Okay, this is going to be part two of the series on Lockpile's rule. And in the part one series, uh, we looked at some sample problems that were in the form zero divided by zero. In this video, we'll look at problems that are in the form infinity divided by infinity. Now, if you haven't done it yet, I would definitely watch the part one video because it will explain uh, how we work with this rule. And just a reminder again, uh, Lopdahl's rule is used to find the limits if you have one function divided by another function, but it turns out in this indeterminate form of either zero divided by zero or infinity divided by infinity, then you can find the limit of the quotient of the derivatives. So again, watch the, the part one video if you need to. Now we came up with a series of steps to get to the solution, and those steps look like this. So first of all, Test both the numerator and the denominator of the original function to see if you can put it in the form 0 divided by 0 or infinity divided by infinity to see if Lopatow's rule applies. Now if it winds up in one of these two forms, then yes, the rule applies, and you can find the derivatives of both the numerator and denominator, and then find the limit uh, using those and get the solution to the problem. So again, if you need to, watch the part one video just to see how these steps apply. And on this video, we'll go ahead and uh, work through some additional problems. But this time, rather than being in the zero divided by zero form, they'll be in the infinity divided by infinity form. So let's take a look at some problems. Okay, now in the first one, uh, we want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of x cubed divided by 2x. Now the first step will be just like we did in that last video. Let's go ahead and individually find the limits of the numerator and the limit of the denominator to see if they wind up in the proper form. So step number one will be to do the following. First of all, find the limit of the numerator. So this will be the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of x cubed. Now, if you take the limit of a number that's being cubed, of a large number being cubed, this limit will go to infinity. So the natural log of a very large number goes off to positive infinity. Now let's find the limit of the denominator. So this time, find the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x. And this one's actually pretty easy. Uh, as x goes off to infinity, twice x will also go to infinity, so this one will also be infinity. So you wind up with infinity in the top, infinity in the bottom. It does wind up in this infinity divided by infinity form, so that shows that you can apply Lopatow's rule to this problem. So now we'll go to step two. So what step two says is that now that you've shown that the rule applies, go ahead and find the derivatives of both the numerator and the denominator. So in step two, we'll first of all find the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative with respect to x of the numerator, which is the natural log of x cubed. Now, the derivative of the natural log, remember, it's 1 over the argument times the derivative of the argument. So this will be 1 over the argument times the derivative of the argument, which would be 3x squared. Now in this case, this, the x's will cancel out and you'll wind up with 3 over x. So that's the derivative of the numerator. Now you'll also need the derivative of the denominator. So this will be the derivative with respect to x of 2x. And this one's pretty straightforward. So the derivative of 2x is just 2. So now you've got the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So you're ready for step 3. And step three says, now go ahead and find the limit of the quotient of the two derivatives. So what that's going to look like in step three. So now you're going to go ahead and find the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator, which is 3 over x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, which is 2. So you can simplify that down to uh, the limit as x approaches infinity. And you can rewrite this as 3 over 2x. Now if you find this limit, if you find the limit of this as x goes to infinity, you'll have a very large number in the denominator. So the entire thing will go to 0. And that's going to be the solution to this first problem. So again, follow the three steps. Take the two derivatives. Uh, in the first step, you've showed that it did. 
satisfy the requirements for block calls rule to apply. So let's take a look at a couple more problems, and each one will show you a little variation on this. Okay, in this problem, we want to find this. The limit as x approaches infinity of 3x over e to the x. Now, again, this is transcendental function on the bottom. So let's run through our rules again. And the first rule says go ahead and find the individual limits of both the numerator and denominator to see if they wind up in the form 0 divided by 0 or infinity divided by infinity to see if you can use the rule. So in this problem, we'll repeat exactly the same process as we did last time. So step number one, go ahead and find the limit of the numerator. So this would be the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x and the limit of 3x as x goes to infinity be 3 times infinity, the numerator will go off to infinity. Now test the denominator. So this would be the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x. Now again, as x goes off to infinity, e to the x is going off to infinity, so this one will also go to infinity. So again, you wind up with infinity divided by infinity. So it does satisfy one of the two forms. So this tells you that, yes, you can use Lopatol's rule. So let's go to the second step. And the second step says, now that you know you can use the rule, the rule applies, go ahead and find the derivative of both the numerator and the denominator. So in step two, you're going to want the derivative of the numerator. So first of all, the derivative with respect to x of the numerator will give you 3, so there's the derivative of the numerator, and you also need the derivative of the denominator, of e to the x. Now remember, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so now you've got the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. Okay, so we go off to step 3. And what step 3 says, again, is go ahead and find now the limit of the quotient of the two derivatives. So this time, you're going to want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. Now again, um, what you've got in this case is just a constant in the numerator. In the denominator, if you let x go to infinity, you'll have e to the x going to infinity. So you'll have 3 divided by an increasingly large number. The entire thing will go to 0. So there is the solution to this problem. So again, individually, they're not hard once you get them set up right. Okay, let's try uh, next problem, or next sample. Looks like this. Let's find the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x plus 2 divided by x. Now again, we'll run through this same series of steps again, so uh, the same steps that we've used in the previous problem. So the first step says go ahead and find the limit of the numerator. So this is going to be step number one. So check the limit of the numerator and see what it turns out to be. So we'll find the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x plus now what that's going to be, uh, the limit of e to the x, as x goes to infinity, e to the x is going to go to infinity. The plus 2 won't make any difference at all. The numerator will go to infinity. Now try the denominator. So this is going to be the limit as x approaches infinity of x. And this is pretty straightforward. Uh, as x goes to infinity, then sure enough, x goes to infinity. And again, you'll have the denominator goes to infinity. So in this step, you showed that the limit of the numerator goes to infinity, the limit of the denominator goes to infinity. It satisfies the rules, so L'Hopital's rule does apply. So now we'll go on to step number two. And what step number two says, again, is now just go ahead and find the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of the numerator would be the derivative of e to the x plus now, again, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and the derivative of a constant is 0, so it'll turn into that. Let's find the derivative of the denominator, and it's just the derivative of x is equal to 1. So really, you just wind up with e to the x over 1. 
So now go ahead and step three. So again, what step three says is uh, now find the limit of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. So that's going to be the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator is e to the x divided by the derivative of the denominator is 1. Now in the first two samples, they turned out to be 0. In this one, if you let x go to infinity, then e to the x is going to go to infinity. And infinity divided by 1 would be infinity. So in this problem, uh, the solution will be infinity. The limit as x goes to infinity when the uh, quotient goes to infinity. Now let's try one more just to show you a little variation on the form on these things. Um, now what this one's going to look like, L'Hopital's rule requires this. It requires one function divided by another function. But occasionally we'll run into a form that looks like this. It might be one function times another function. Now individually, if you were to try to find both of these, the idea is you'd find this. If you let x go off to infinity, you would have infinity. So as x goes off to infinity, the first factor is going to go to infinity. But on the second factor, that's e to the negative x, which is like 1 over e to the x. So as x goes to infinity, e to the negative x is going to go to 0. So now what you've got is a form that looks like this. One of the factors is going to infinity. The other factor is going to 0. Now normally, whenever you multiply something by 0, the whole thing goes to 0. But you also have to consider so the fact if you multiply something by infinity, it should go to infinity. So what you've got here is one factor that's approaching infinity, and the other factor is approaching zero, and it just becomes a race, which one's going to win? Is it going to go to infinity quicker, or is it going to go to zero quicker? Or possibly it's going to settle on some number in between. Now when you've got a problem like this, the key to these is this. L'Hopital's rule requires something divided by something, and you've got something times something. But you can change it into the proper form. So the first step here is to change it into a form that agrees with L'Hopital's rule. So I'm going to make this be the limit um, as x approaches infinity. And I'll change the problem into this. I'm going to leave this x in the top. So here is an x in the top. And this is e to the negative x in the top. So I'll move it to the bottom and make it be e to the positive x. Now what that does, now I've got something that's at least in the proper form. But you still have to check to see whether L'Hopital's rule applies. So again, using the same three steps that we did before, and we'll go back and take a look at these, we'll, we'll first of all check the numerator and denominator. If the rule applies, we'll find the derivative, then we'll find the limits. So the same steps that we use in the other problems. So first of all, find the limit of this. So this would be the limit as x approaches infinity of x. And as x goes off to infinity, the numerator is going to go to infinity. So now test the denominator. So let's find the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x. And as x goes to infinity, e to the x will also go to infinity. So you do wind up with a form infinity divided by infinity, so L'Hopital's rule will apply. So that was all step one. Just wanted to test and see if it applies. So it passed the first test and it wound up in this form infinity divided by infinity. So now I'll find both the derivatives of the numerator and the denominator. So in step number two, uh, find the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. Then find the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So there's the derivative of the numerator, there's the derivative of the denominator. So now you're ready for step three, which is now find the limit of the two quotients together on the derivatives and see what it turns out to be. So step number three says now go ahead and find the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. Well, again, you've got a constant in the numerator. If you let x go to infinity, then e to the x is going to become an increasingly large number. You'll have 1 divided by a large number, and the whole thing will go to 0. So that would be the solution to this last problem. So just be aware of the fact, on this type of problem, occasionally if you have two things multiplied together, 
This also, if you have something that looks like this, this also is an indeterminate form, but you can change it from a multiplication problem into a division problem, and then you can use Wachtell's rule. So sometimes you may have to manipulate it a little bit to get it into a proper form. So there are four more examples, but in these examples, and again, we'll go back to the very first one here. Uh, in the first video, all sample problems wound up in the form 0 divided by 0. In part 2, in this video, all of them wound up in the form infinity divided by infinity. But the rules that you follow are still the same three. So you follow those three rules, they'll guide you to a solution. Now, in the next video, we'll look what happens if... Uh, when you get down to step four here, occasionally you'll have to repeat this process because the first time through, you'll still leave it in an indeterminate form and you've got to do it again and maybe even again after that. And we'll look at that in the next video.